it's just so hard to kind of talk. You know, I had a huge breakdown before I made this, um, actually after it, well, because I, I was just really crying so hard, and I realized, like, that, um, like, you know, I do really fucking care, because, you know, I know I, I should, <laughs> like, you know, the thing is, is, like, I just, I feel like a piece of shit, because, I, you know, I experience breakdowns, it happens, it's just, and this is one of those times where I just, I feel so bad because of what I did. And I feel sorry for them, that I did that. Like, you know, I, I just, like, I just can't, like... You know, I just, I just wish I could just do better than that, because I know I can. And, I just, if I had, you know, if I did something, you know, I'll say this. So, if I had sex or something, you know, I, I probably, like, you know, I'll keep it to myself. Because I know the first time I didn't, and I just revealed everything, and now I don't want to do that. Because, you see, I learned my lesson from that, and yet I just still, I need to do better to keep shit to myself. Because, I mean, I already kept one thing away from everybody, from, I managed to keep a secret, uh, which is good, but, well, actually, it's something that's, that's, well, something of mine that I have, but, um... I just don't feel very happy, like, that I, you know, because I hurt, I, I hate the fact that I hurt the people that I love the most, like, and it hurts, it fucking does, and it's just it's a fucking shame that, that shit like this happens, and I will admit, I, I think... I remember, like, if someone was, if, if someone I didn't know was in the hospital dying, or, you know, you know, the, or they just fucking passed away, I would have fucking cared, because I would, not like I would uh, say I wouldn't, but I actually, I would fucking care, because, because they're, they're a part of my life, like, I lost my grandfather, like, years ago, and then, not long after, I lost a fucking cat, like, two of them, and not only that, the fucking dog, too, yeah, he may have lived a long life, too, but I feel kind of bad for him, because he was suffering, so we had to put him out of his misery, basically, by putting him down. And I just, I don't want to push the people I love the most, because literally I don't. I'm not going to do, what I did was stupid of me, but it also it wasn't smart of me either. Like, it just, it just felt so, just unfucking faithful, man. Like... I will never do something like that again. I swear. Like, I will literally say nothing about it. I'll just keep it to my fucking self and just not say a fucking word. Because I know myself better than that. And I know I can do that. It's just so bullshit how the way life is. And it's just so bullshit how everything is. Because it is. You think you can get a happy end ending? No. I can't get a happy ending, because I don't have one. I don't... Because life isn't a fairy tale. And... Of course, there's no happy endings. And... 
I've taken so many hits in my life. You can't even imagine that. And yet, I'm just fucking devastated because of what I, you know, I feel that when I do something wrong, I feel so fucking terrible for it that you just have no fucking idea. Because after something I, after I do something wrong, I know that I feel bad, not only for myself, but for them. That is something I have done before and have been through again. And I had the biggest breakdown I ever had. I just kept crying constantly because I was just feeling so fucking terrible for what I've done. But what I've did for, for other people. And, and horribly wrong. And it's just, it's a shame. I'm not going to deal with any more shit. And I don't want to talk about it. Because, well, and please don't, and obviously I just, sometimes you need time of, of healing. And then you can forgive me or something or forgive yourselves. Because, um, that's what, what's really important is when you care about someone and what's really important is to make sure that they're okay and that their health is okay and everything because when they're gone, you just, you feel fucking so miserable. It's not like... When a person dies, it's just, you shouldn't die as well. You shouldn't just kill yourself, because it's wrong. And, well, it's not wrong, is you don't need to do that. Instead, just improve yourself, make yourself better as a person, and remember them as what they were. Never, never let yourself down because of somebody, because of someone passing away. And I can never forget when Chester died. That made me upset. And I don't know, you probably don't know who I'm talking about because unless you're familiar with Lincoln Park, then you're probably, then that's just, I mean, obviously he, it's just, um, you know, a lot of people miss him. And once you lose that person that you really love so bad, then you're never going to get him back again. Because I'm only, because if you lose me, you can't you can't bring me back. You can't. And um, because I live, I have one life, and I'm living it as best as I can. But I just don't feel I just don't want to deal with any more sadness, depression, misery, and shit, and all that. I've been for enough in my life to see just. How much fucking shit has been thrown at me? Yeah, I may have punched a wall, but... Does my hand hurt? Yes. It hurts because it does, and it's just because of the amount of pain I've been through. I've done, I've done that not only once, but beforehand. Although I did break through the wall once, uh, and but this time I didn't really break through the wall fully. And... Obviously, I might have to show you guys the disaster because that's how I, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Um. Well.